<laughs> right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke, this is Debbie TV, and today we're fitting this Renault Sports belt steering wheel along with a Volantec button setup for the wheel. Stay tuned, it's gonna be sick. You do not want to miss this one. Okay, so yes, we're back again with another modification for the Megane RS. The cheap, the cheap Megane RS, let's call it that. Although it's not becoming cheap anymore after everything that's going down, I tell you now, it is getting expensive. But it does not matter because this car will pretty much have all brand new parts on afterwards and it'll be sweet. So, quick one for you in today's video. Um, as people, I've had people asking about the gearbox, what are you going to do about that? I've got a recon gearbox which is on the way or it's either been delivered. I've just got to wait for a lightweight billet flywheel coming from KTEC and a, 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 a brand new clutch as well coming from KTEC along with a new slave. So that'll be probably towards the end of the next weekend, etc. So this steering wheel, this Renault Sports about steering wheel, uh, you can get ones with a black top. It's just, I kind of want a bit stingy and. Um, I didn't want to pay like the extra 100 or 150 quid it was. Plus, the blue looks quite good because you know it's definitely like a genuine Sabelt wheel. Now, genuine steering wheels, uh, if you're replacing them or for any other reason, if you had a car crash or when you want to have to replace your steering wheel or if you're going for a track build, etc., make sure you buy some decent quality steering wheel. Um, I've had one before, I had it on my old R56 Mini. Stupid decision, bought an eBay OMP wheel. It was like flexy as hell when driving. Um, I can literally like push it back and forth. Don't let, don't do that. That's just not good. I've learned from my mistakes, and we're now doing things properly. Oh, and one thing, I've got a few things here from Volantec that I just want to quickly share with you guys and let you guys know. Now, if you didn't know Volantec and what they are and what they do, basically, they are really known for building racing steering wheel setups for race cars, etc. Now, it's not just McGann's and Clears they do steering wheels for. Uh, I've been quoted, they also do them for Fiesta Mark 7s, which is really good. A lot of people turn them into track cars at the moment. Um, they also sell their own custom steering wheels as well, a Volantec steering wheel. Um, they've also even got a flat bottom one on the way but that's, uh, I think it's just some testing in a line or something's going on with that, but that's gonna be really cool. I, I was this close from getting a Volantec wheel, but I was like, I wanna keep everything to belt just for the minute, but who knows, down the line, I might change over to a Volantec wheel myself. Um, another good thing is that they do wired and wireless kits for race cars, right? So they kit you back to see me install any other bits and bobs, the wired and wireless. Um, it's very clever how they've gone down this route and done this because it brings more of a, I guess race car feels to the whole scene. But yeah, guys, check them out. They've also got a giveaway coming up soon. A good way to enter that would be like to tag, um, pretty much what they say, yeah, to follow them and tag a friend um, before you like the photo as well. This is probably really unprofessional, but I've just got a list here and I've got to crack on and get some bits done. So that's the list they want me to read out. Um, I'm fully supportive of that because otherwise I won't be saying it, but th their work I've been following for a while is incredible. So go check out their full range on the website. Uh, for now, let's get on into getting the steering wheel done. And what we're gonna do first, disconnect the battery. As I didn't show you my toolbox last time fully, uh, yeah, it's a Yato toolbox. So 216 piece set, really handy, really nice to use. Comes in a big box like that, good packaging, good branding, I like it. Another thing is this, the boob's pretty much done at Global, it looks incredible. We've got a Storm Grey clear in there at the minute, in stock with the sign up, it's looking mad. We've got a very wide color range on at the minute as well and a cheeky RS7, but that's for a uh, global video. But yeah, guys, a lot going on in it. Anyway, disconnect the battery, let's pop a tool set. Oh, and before you do on these McGann's, make sure you turn the steering wheel over about 90 degrees, or is it 180, I think, no, 90 degrees, because it's actually on the bottom, exactly the same like a clear, because it's gonna be an absolute pain. I can just see it happening now. Um, they are a bit of a pain to get these airbags out. So yeah, turn the steering wheel around 90 degrees, and then disconnect the battery after that. Right, so, 10 mil, easy stuff to get that off. Now, you can just disconnect one terminal, it'll be sweet, but I like to do both just to, something up there that keeps me thinking like, yeah. So, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on a time lapse because this is gonna be the most boring thing you'll ever see. Plus, I'm probably gonna lose my head a lot. 
and I'm going to be screaming at this, I can tell. The clear one was just a nightmare. So I've got odds, my money's going on that this is going to be the exact same. So yeah, roll, roll the time lapse. Here we go. It's going to just follow what I do basically on the time lapse. You know what? That's the quickest that's ever happened. I'm not even joking. Wow. I, I can't, can't believe it. Okay, look, so now when you get to this point after that somehow godly moment, um, so you've got your two airbag connectors here either side. Uh, you can just disconnect them, you don't have to. It's all built into this pit down here. Now I need to disconnect this first really. And then the rest of that will come out with a squib. Um, now it's a T, I think I'm pretty sure it's T50 Torx bits inside the middle here. So I'm going to crack that off, get that out, and that should be sweet and the steering wheel should pop out. Um, and yeah, it should be pretty much all golden from there, guys. Fingers crossed anyway, it's quite a simple install so far. Okay, so I switched over to like manual mode, like a POV mode so you can see what's going on. So T50 Torx bit, I don't know how well this little ratchet is going to crack this. I might have to use... Yeah, I'm probably going to have to use two hands, two seconds. Let me just crack this a minute. Okay, so uh, there we are. It's gone, uh, it's gone loose now. It, did, it was quite tight for a little while. I was getting a bit worried because you do not want to bust the Torx by the actual screw itself. Because as you can see, if I zoom in, it was that tight. It was starting to take away the inside of, uh, of what it was like. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. I probably won't want to focus. No. That's that out now. It should the steering wheel itself pop off pretty easily, he says. Um, I'm gonna go easy with this and put you on the, on the stand over there. Right, okay, so before we go ahead and actually, um, I know I said don't worry about the, the airbag clips, but um, you do technically have to take them out. So it's So there goes the airbag, dispose of that as you wish. And then we can, we can obviously take off the, the steering wheel like so. Try not to tangle up any wires or anything like that. Because we don't want that happening. Keep your squib in place, nice and so. Put the steering wheel wherever you want. And then we can get onto the fun bit of getting on the new steering wheel. Also make sure you get electrical tape because we're gonna need some electrical tape. Now, before we do any further, a little quick reason as to why you shouldn't just touch a square ball, just move it anywhere. This is linked to your indicators, right? So you will have the problem of, I've had it before, I've actually broke one of these, I think it was my mini, um, and you had to manually change indicators like on and off. You know when you spin it around the corner and you come back around the other way and the indicator goes off? Yeah, that, that won't happen anymore if you do mess around with this. But um, apart from that, it's simply plug and play with the uh, with the boss kit, which we're about to go grab right now. So before I go ahead and actually whack the boss kit on, I've got to whip out the Vonatech uh, buttons. I said the, by the buttons that basically replace. So you actually haven't seen this yet. Um, it is labelled up for what everything's needed. You've got the horn uh, reset off button and the up and down for speed and another horn on the other side. So go easy on this, don't go breaking everything because it's carnage, um, that's pretty much it, it's going to be mega carnage if you do. So they said to me, make sure you don't pinch this wire. So this connector, you see, little focus right there, is what goes into the connector down here on the squib, which controls everything like your horn, which is really cool, it's a really good design um, from Volantech themselves. So this should be simple as just hopefully clipping it in like that. And then that means we can go ahead and, oh, no, maybe not first. Put it through the boss kit first. Better idea. So, in like so, then it should all look like that. Uh, right way round, so that's how it's gonna look. Obviously, the uh, steering wheel will go over the top of this, and then you'll, um, it'll be happy. Happy days, I look pretty cool. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like. It's gonna look absolutely incredible, this is gonna look. So let's go ahead now and make sure the screw hasn't moved much. It's 
quite a lot of weight on there. I don't think I need the electrical tape now to be honest with you, I don't know. You can, I guess you can electrical tape these two together if you want to. I might do it actually in a minute so they're not touching, but it's not going to be the end of the world if it, um, if they do start touching or anything like that. So I'm going to thread these through the hole at the bottom. So they both come through. One has and one hasn't. That's helpful. And put that squid bucket where it was. Nice. Right, so now should be able to just pull that through. And then where this sits at the bottom. Now there is a marking, the blue marking on the um, actual splines for the boss kit that you can see. It's just I'm trying to look for about a different million, million different wires at the moment, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a pain to see where it actually is. Right, simple, lovely. Now that's done, next step is to obviously get the Torx bit bolt back in, in the middle. Make sure you do that first before you do anything so nothing else moves. And it's all pretty much plain sailing from there, guys. Right, <laughs> it's getting excited. Oh, I tell you now, honestly, a sexy steering wheel, a sexy good steering wheel setup is is everything. I've never had a setup like this before. Obviously, it's brand new to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually electrical tape or insulation tape, whatever you wanna call it. Um, take these two bits up for the end of the airbags. Just you don't really have to, but I just want all the wires to be together. That's all. I guess I'm just. I wouldn't say I'm picky, but well, yeah, I would say I'm picky, but. Yeah, I'm not too good with tape though. That's one thing for sure. Right, that's that. Next up, we have to get the steering wheel line. I've just took the steering wheel out of the uh, packaging actually. Look how beautiful this looks. And that's not even with it on yet. I can kind of give you like sort of what it's gonna look like. There, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, okay, so I got, I just got ahead of myself there. I was just getting too excited. It was just one of those moments. I have to calm down and recap for a second. So the steering wheel itself is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? It's, um, we've already said it's just absolutely beautiful to look at. Yeah, I need to stop, <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Basically, super simple now. The um, little screws with Allen key on the ends, they do come with an iron key as well, which is that's cute, handy. There's a space that you can put behind it on the actual boss kit. I'm not gonna bother, I don't really tend to either. What I've got to remember is that basically, the wheel started off was like that, wasn't it? So the Volantec button kit needs to be the same way as round, because otherwise I'd have issue, proper issues if it was like that, and then the steering was like that. Everything would be the wrong way around, that is not be good. So, time lapse time, again. We're gonna get this done. And it's just gonna look incredible. I could just, I feel it in my bones, I just do. So, let's hit it. So you wanna go to war with me? You're talking like you think you're a You think that I'm afraid, but I don't break. I heard you question my stability. God, honestly, look at this, look at this. It looks absolutely incredible. Now, we're not fully done yet because we've got to do some tests. Um, so basically what we're going to do is spin the wheel back around, make sure it's all straight, what it, like, how it's supposed to be. And obviously we need to test the horn, make sure the cruise control works, etc. as well. Because I think I am going to kind of go club sport with this car. You're probably asking Luke why you're going to keep the cruise control and you're probably never going to use that. Um, I haven't got a trailer, so if I'm doing long journeys up to tracks, I'm going to have to use the cruise control. 
Cobb Sport as well, just to be a bit more comfy inside. I don't know, I'll see what happens. But let's get this battery connected. Once that's connected, turn it around, test everything, and fingers crossed it should be sweet. Time for 10 mil back on you. You get that on there. You get back on there. Yeah, that looks more like it. Right, let's get this strapped down. Let me do these two bolts up a minute. So now I've got some battery in it. You can hear that box now. Listen to it. It's having a fit. That's it's not good. It's causing me a lot of ass work, that is. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Oh, of course it's dead. I'll tell you what, I carry this thing around me now on a daily basis. Well, I don't use the car on a daily basis, but just lives in the flipping McGann until this electrical thing gets sorted out anyway. Right, she's all going. Look, it's literally like a field party of noises in there. This thing starts clicking its tits off, and then that has a party sometimes as well. So this is all linked. So apparently it's a carbon carboniser canister. I don't know what that is, but either way, in we go. Clutch in. Okay, so spin the wheel. Guess that's straight, let's check that straight. Yeah, that's definitely straight. So, fingers crossed, if I press this. Why is this got to get? This has the worst horn. I have never used the horn yet. What is that? Wow, it listens, what the fuck? Mate, nah. That is some weird ass. What was that little, um, yeah, some weird program I used to watch when I was younger that had a horn like that? Right, anyway, uh, cruise control. So, check airbag, of course. Cruise control still work. Cruise control zero mile an hour. Reset. I guess you can't really check until. Your radio still work? Your radio still works. Right, cool. Alright, that's all good. Alright, I think, I think we're sweet. I think we're all good. Right, okay people, so there we go. That is it. How incredible does that look? I know I say it before and I say it again. It's beautiful. It's incredible. It's what it is just it just is right So if you don't love these steering wheels, this is the first time I've had a button set up as well And there's been something because I'll show you quickly in this Clio It's got the exact same thing, but it's got the wheel I wanted which is really annoying and I can see there look at that That is beautiful. They have different buttons uh, on the Clio. Well, I suppose it's got the cruise control So it's sort of the same layout now like I said with Volatech, and they told me that they do, before I step on the toolbox and I go flying, they do all sorts of wide range of products uh, regarding the buttons and things like that. You can have other things put in. I think you can even have indicators and in that put in, but it's a bit more complex. Um, I did want to get indicators because it would have been quite cool indicating. I think you could probably get an engine start button probably put in. Like, that'd be pretty cool as well on a steering wheel. Maybe it's something I can work with Volatech with in the future and we'll get something cool like that on the go. I need to go up there, see the guys, check out the HQ and see what's going down anyway. But uh, massive thanks to Volatech as always for getting involved with today's video. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I'm being honest, they did give me a bit of discount. Um, I'm not saying how much, I'm not saying the prices, but they said, um, well, I I'm, I'm just honest, I'm open with everyone, all right? I'm not gonna see them like, nah, I didn't get stuff for free, I got stuff for free. Very honest with everything, you'll, you'll realize that. Um, hopefully they don't mind me mentioning they gave me a bit of discount, but it's, um, it's nothing major, like, at all. It's like a normal discount for, if it was like a bank holiday or something like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, like I said, massive thanks to Volatech, legends. They also sent me a t-shirt, which is somewhere. Um, the t-shirt's down there, so I put, <laughs> yeah, right. Basically, I said I wanted a small. I didn't realize I'm packing under pounds at the minute, and it's really tight. So I don't want it to go to waste. The first person to message me after this video saying they want the t-shirt, it's a size small. I've said, I'll show you actually, I think it is, isn't it? Isn't it? So it's quite a cool t-shirt actually, it's got a nice design on it. As you can see, a steering wheel with a Volantec Motorsport um, on there. I've also got a sticker in there as well. I'm gonna put a sticker on the car. But um, enough rambling, 
that's that. First person to message me can have that t-shirt. I'll send it out to you. Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you haven't already, slap a like on this video as well and turn on those notifications that every single time I upload is more frequent. But like I said in the past video, it's very difficult for me to upload whilst juggling my lifestyle on the go as well. But I make these videos for you guys and for like a recap on everything in life. And if you haven't already started getting a track car, track build, what are you doing? These should be the big thing. The rebuild of cars and everyone rebuilding cars, crash cars, everything, it's cool. But track cars are cooler. I'm sorry, but they are. Anyway guys, thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.